Hey besties. Okay, so I put a poll up on the community tab some time ago about which challenge you guys wanted to try out with me, I guess. Uh, because I really wanted to get into posting gameplay and being consistent about it and not making it more than it is or like overthinking it basically. I want it to just be more like free flowing. You guys voted for the occult legacy challenge with I think like 53% or like 54%. So it was clearly something that you guys were interested in seeing. The occult legacy challenge is I believe a 10 generation legacy challenge and I'll put the creator up on the screen because I don't remember their name right now but uh, basically it's just a challenge that really helps with like occult sim exposure and gameplay and just like experiencing all the different occults that The Sims 4 has to offer that we don't really get to play with on an everyday basis or like ever. So uh, Generation 1 starts off in Strangerville with a human sim and here's a little like backstory. After leaving home for the first time, you find yourself living in a small home in Strangerville. You're not there very long before you start to notice things are particularly strange and the locals are even stranger. At your job at the local lab, you overhear colleagues talking about the town's mystery and the other lab that stands across town. You get sucked into the conspiracy and are determined to figure it all out. On top of that, you're pretty sure you've made contact with aliens. What could possibly go wrong? So that's a little backstory. Um, they are supposed to complete the Strangeville mystery aspiration. Their traits are paranoid, genius, and socially awkward. They work as a scientist. Their color theme is orange, even though I, I added a little black in just because I think it black and orange really go very well together. Not enough black that it would matter or like overshadow the orange because obviously that's still supposed to be the theme for the generation. You're not supposed to get married. I don't know if that means that you can't have like a partner and just never get married or if you're like supposed to stay single the entire time but I guess we'll see where that goes. <laughs> um, children are supposed to be the product of abduction only and there's no limit on how many kids you can have but the heir must be an alien baby. You have to max the logic and programming skill and grow a bizarre fruit and live in a trailer or cabin home. That sort of leads us into our heir for Gen 1, which is our founder basically, Alani Gothier. I'm purposely pronouncing it Gothier because I think it's funny because it's like it's an occult challenge and really as the generations go on they do just get Gothier. So <laughs> I thought it was funny. But I don't know if anybody else is gonna think it's funny but like I think it's funny. Um, and so she is not yet a scientist. I think we should probably go and do that. I wanted to open her like sim panel. Okay, so she is a scientist now, level one. Um, she has to have two breakthroughs. And so her traits are the ones that I just mentioned. Um, these extra traits are a mixture between um, Lupino's relationship and pregnancy overhaul mod and wonderful whims. She has indifferent to being romantic, indifferent to being romantically exclusive traits. So she's kind of open to anything, which really makes sense since she's like open to aliens and like having their children. <laughs> it really all kind of makes sense. Um, she's cis and romantically and non-romantically <laughs> attracted to masculine sims and um she's a sage which makes sense because of like the logic trait i gave her like a bunch of preferences i made her like programming chess gardening and astronomy mostly because of the skills that she has to max but also because of the challenges like growing the bizarre fruit but astronomy i just thought it was fun <laughs> because like science astronomy a scientist makes sense. 
She also likes the spicy flavor, green tea, and chocolate. And she likes bar drinks, lemonade, and coffee. And she dislikes plasma because, well, she's human. And I feel like only vampires would like plasma. She likes blues, retro, soul, strange tunes, Americana, and ranch music. And she dislikes metal. She likes workwear. <laughs> I guess so. And she also likes orange, obviously, because that's her generation's color. Um, her interests are geology, sustainability, survivalism, travel, and space. Because I feel like that fits in with like the vibes of Strangerville, plus like her interests in terms of like space and geology, like those are like science things. And then I put travel as an interest because it says in her like little blurb that like she moved to Strangerville from like wherever she was born at or whatever so i'm sure she likes to travel um her venue that she likes is just bar <laughs> she likes a bunch of different types of conversation but really dislikes malicious interactions and deception she likes breakfast food pizza and junk food and that's about it okay so as far as the Strangerville mystery aspiration, we have to talk about Strangerville with Five Sims by Curio from the Curio Shop and examine sealed door at Secret Lab. Oh, and I would give you a tour of her house, but it's like so small that like the tour is done in like two seconds. So like this is her like living room area. And I just added like small things like shoes and blankets and this like cowboy hat <laughs> and a broom and slippers. And then her kitchen is literally just this. And then her bedroom is right behind the kitchen, I guess. And yeah, there's a bookshelf uh, and this bathroom. And this build was originally by Lil Simsy but I just decorated it a little bit with some like CC and whatnot. And then I added some decorations to the stairs. Please applaud the plant stairs. Thank you. <laughs> and as far as the like outside benches go, I think this one's really cute because I had like orange pillows, but it was still black. And I was trying to keep the outside more like black and orange themed. And then I use these get to work chairs with like an umbrella stand <laughs> instead of like an umbrella table, like an attached umbrella table because they couldn't fit her laptop and there's like no space inside for her to do that. So we really needed like a table outside that can like fit. <laughs> And I just like snuck in some things that we like didn't have space for inside, outside, like the decoration bin and like the umbrella stand. And um, it's pretty much like the entire thing. We'll definitely need to expand at some point, but like as long as it's just her by herself, we should be pretty okay. In order to get these two done at least, I'd like to like explore changeable a little bit i changed up some of the like community lots so i i placed a diner uh i replaced the bar bar <laughs> i put like a library down and i added this other strange world bar but i don't think i'm gonna keep it because i already had this one but I do want to go, I think, to the bar and hopefully find enough sims to talk about Strangerville too. And then go buy like the curio shop and buy some curio, whatever that means. <laughs> Ooh. And she changed into a nice outfit actually. By the way, this world is just so pretty. Like, I know that there's like a crisis going on but like <laughs> it's genuinely just such a nice place oh i think this is the curio shop oh it's just not closed yet so why can't i click on that oh he's not like in it we can come over here um let's talk about stranger i wonder if that counts and buy some curio items and this is like the conspiracy theorist guy that comes with strangerville or when prize 
He told us about the secret lab in the crater outside town. Okay. Uh, spy bug. Ooh, bizarre fruit. I wonder if we can plant that. It's only nine simoleons. Um, I literally have no idea what any of this means. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay. We can do that and then maybe a book or something about it. Okay. Can we like ask him some more about Strangerville? You know, I just thought it was the same thing. Okay, so we really do have to find four more sims. Um, let's like come in here. I think honestly, this like renovated version of the bar is just a little nicer. While it still keeps the like side of the road bar feel, it just looks nicer. And there's like a military person now. Let's talk about strange about to them. Let's just talk about that so like everybody sitting at the bar and see like what they each say. I feel like the military personnel is going to be purposefully not very helpful. Yeah, they tell us not to worry about the secret lab. The curio shop, we just went there. A secret inventory. Okay, an explosion a few weeks ago. Okay, so. We've like done all the talking about it. Let me see what that uh, secret inventory is. Oh, we have to like, we have to examine some more stuff before we can get the secret inventory. Oh wow, <laughs> there's like a whole lab set up up here. Wow. No, this is new, like this was definitely not in the old like eight bells. I think it's supposed to be like a police station, like the Strangeville police station. It's really cool actually, I didn't even know this was up here. And since it's nighttime, I'm assuming this would be like a good time to sneak into the lab. <laughs> Ooh. I love all like the details, Some, like the little bits of like broken gate and plus it was supposed to be an explosion so I assumed there would be more like rubble I guess. Okay. So I guess this is like the door to get in. We have to go around? Oh you have to like go through the like trashed part. There's just a bunch of like scattered paper and stuff around. And then this is like the door to examine. So he's just like taking notes of it, I guess. There seems to be like a message that's like passing over the door. Okay, so it says the door is locked. Looks like it requires a key card. Someone around town might know how to get one before leaving, poke around the secret lab to gather more information. Okay, so there was a notebook entry. Speaking of, I wanted to change, <laughs> I wanted to change her like phone to actually be like the colors of her generation. Ooh, there's like a stack of non-scattered paper and documents on the table, conveniently <laughs> next to the lab door strange blueprints hmm can we go in we can take a photo of the door for evidence okay so that's two out of 15 let's see is there anything else no Ooh, that's something. And so is that. Ooh, and so is that. <laughs> I almost missed that one. 
I think. I'm gonna take a picture of that too. I don't know if that counts as evidence, but it's definitely weird. It's already like almost midnight. So I don't wanna spend like too long here. Cause I'm pretty sure she also has work. Yeah, at 10 a.m. tomorrow. So I wanna make sure she's like good. <laughs> six more things to do, like six more pieces of evidence to find. But we can always like come back. We don't have to like do everything right now. He's like surprisingly not tired at all. So let's just have her use the bathroom. And I do think I want to turn auto lights on just to like save money. But like we have 18,000. <laughs> so I'm not too worried, honestly. That's because this was like such a cheap place to live that like it costs basically nothing. And she's not tired. I'm thinking. I'm thinking actually. Ooh, I want to see if I can plant this. Can I? Oh, I can. Okay, I want to try to plant this bizarre fruit and then maybe like move it in build and buy to the planter box. Yes. Um, but I'm thinking while I do that- oh wait, I should probably water it. Okay. <laughs> and then while we do that, she can like work on programming, I think. Um, yeah. And I'll pretty much just have her practice a little bit and then go to sleep before work. So I think I'll like check back in with you guys then. Okay, so it's morning. I'm just having her brush her teeth because I have the beauty and I think makeup mod from Kawaii Stacy. So like her breath will stink if she doesn't brush her teeth. And it actually like gives me an incentive to have my sims brush her teeth. So. She's also a bit hungry. I'm thinking just fruit salad because I don't want her to like start a fire since she has no cooking skill <laughs> like at all. And work starts in an hour. Oh, can she like not cook? Anymore? She can't use this. She's just gonna have to wash her dishes in the bathroom, I guess. She's literally taking so long to make it that, like, I'm gonna have to put it. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, never mind. I guess she'll get something to eat at work. Okay, so it's like a daily experimentation day. And. Oh no, it took her glasses off for work. That's fine. She just doesn't need to see. <laughs> um, and I think I will replace the like science lab between episodes. But like, I guess the original one isn't that bad. Um, so we need to use the microscope for research and to work out for 30 minutes and have our first breakthrough, which I'm sure we can do at some point in the work day. Okay. Now we need to work out on the treadmill for 30 minutes and then come back and practice analysis. Oh, and this is her like active wear. Hold on, get close. Yeah, I like the uh -huh. headphones as like oh! realistic accessories and like her little sim smartwatch to like track her little workouts on. Clumsy? No, I don't think she's clumsy. She literally just messed up like once on the treadmill. <laughs> oh yeah, she is still hungry because we didn't get to eat breakfast. Unknown caller. Hey, uh, things have been sort of crazy lately and I need a place to stay for a while. Mind if I crash at your place for a bit? 
I mean, there's no space, but like, why not? Who was that? Do we know who that was? Who? Jay Huntington the third. Four nights. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I forgot to. I guess I forgot to add all of the updated townies to the save. So I'll fix that. Hopefully, <laughs> at some point between episodes two. Let's ask. Well, first let's introduce ourselves, and then let's ask him for a medal. And then also use him to like increase our social need. And then we'll go like get something to eat. Do we want to plant a bug on him? I mean, we could. Why not? He's a scientist. He works here. I think that makes sense. how to ask for a medal anymore <laughs> uh, since they like changed the social wheel okay and then we have to gossip about co-workers with him while he just casually has a bug on him <laughs> Okay, let's go use the bathroom and get something to eat. Hmm. I guess a photo BLT. Who else is working with this? I don't even see. Oh, Julia Wright. Okay. You know, Hector Laurent is there because we we're just talking to him. I swear Alice Spencer Kim Lewis is like always in the scientist career. I don't know if that's on like purpose, if that's like part of her canon or not, but like yeah. Oh and her dad. Oh that's not her dad. <laughs> he has like the same hair from the back. But Shigeru Ishidaki also works as a scientist and so does Sienna Grove from the horse ranch pack. Okay. Okay. And now that our needs are fine. Let's go use this and browse the web. Uh, web, browse web. And then maybe experiment and see if we get that first breakthrough. Okay, let's see if we can introduce ourselves to Shigeru and see if he can give us a crystal and then we'll experiment. Cause we're like really close to the first breakthrough. Enough socializing, and I really want that break through, honestly. <laughs> so I'll take a thoughtful shower after. No help, because she was working out earlier. Oh, we got it. Okay, momentum conserver, whatever that means. Okay, let's go take that thoughtful shower, and then I want to invent the momentum conserver. I think she's also really close to getting the second breakthrough. I'm gonna have an hour. That's not great. You know what? Let's get... Let's stay late. Just so we can get some extra time in. Hopefully get that second breakthrough. So then we'll be like on track for a promotion. She invented it, we can put it in her inventory. Um, 
Oh, we can turn it on? Okay, let's turn it on. Oh, it's cute. Kind of reminds me of like a solar system. Let's have her view it. See what she thinks about it. Okay. <laughs> we can put it back. And. I mean. Oh, we have an hour and 20 minutes. That's definitely enough. Okay, let's see. We can brainstorm and see what happens. I think we can get one by brainstorming. Yep, there we go. Okay. And I think tonight I want to go back to the lab again and see what we can see. Okay, I think we're basically done. Yeah, okay. Oop, she got a promotion! I'm so fast. Literally first day and she has a promotion. She makes an extra $8 per hour for a grand total of $32 per hour. Uh, we got a bonus of 192 simoleons, new clothes, Journey to the Stars, which I'm pretty sure is a poster. And we still work at the same time. I love how Jay Huntington was really serious about that. <laughs> like, he brought his suitcase and everything. Like, as soon as she got home from work, like, he just popped up. And, like, why wouldn't he have a place to stay? He has a home with roommates. Like, but you know what? I don't, I literally do not know where this man's gonna stay. Like, we have no space. <laughs> this is literally all of our house. We have no space. I had to delete the kitchen sink because we couldn't cook anything because we had no space and he's gonna drop his suitcase in the middle of the hallway okay let's at least put it like over here let's open it <laughs> i want to see what's inside oh we can, literally can't open it because there's no space <laughs> oh, it's so sad okay let's take a shower if we can. Uh, oh, let's take a thoughtful shower to see if we can get some progress on those brain, uh, breakthroughs. And then maybe we can play some chess with Jay Hunting the third. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this has always been so funny to me. Why is this just happening in the background? This world is so pretty. Like, but also, oh my goodness. <laughs> He's just casually walking by. But really, such a pretty world. Like, wow. Especially at night. Okay. <laughs> I got distracted. My fish? Oh. Okay, level two logic. So I don't want her to get too tired because I want her to explore just a little bit more in the secret lab tonight. But I'm pretty sure playing chess is helping with the breakthrough and the skill. And she's like very focused, so this is like the perfect time to do that. So I think we'll wait until she gets to... Never mind. She could just stop herself. Okay. So <laughs> let's see. Is she hungry? Just a little bit. Let's see. We can get some granola real quick out of the outside cooler. And then we can go to the secret lab. Okay, back at the secret lab. Um, and we really just need to look for more evidence. Okay, that's... Does it like reset every time you load in? Because we definitely looked at these before. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> I think we probably like finish the gathering pieces of evidence part of this tier the aspiration probably tonight honestly okay i was just checking the notification 
because she keeps finding these encrypted USB devices that a skilled programmer might be able to decrypt. I think that's why programming is one of the skills that we have to max for this generation because that's how she'll be able to like understand what's happening in those USB devices. I think we're basically done, honestly. Yep. Okay. So how do we start a dossier? Okay. So let's compile that. Oh, we, we did it. Okay. Now how do we open it? Okay. So we have to... Hmm. Scientists, military personnel, or the curio shop owner. Ooh, we can go do that right now. I saw from earlier that the shop closes at 3 a.m., so it should still be open. Okay, what is Judith Ward doing <laughs> at this random bar in Strangerville? That's so funny. Okay, let's go to over here. Um, let's request a key card. I just noticed he has this gnome locked in a cage. <laughs> like, what did he do? <laughs> okay, I think I have a key card in my secret inventory. I will only sell this to you if you can prove you're committed to this Strangerville investigation. Maybe if you have a secret dossier. But we do. So, and luckily we have money. Because it costs two hundred fifty dollars, also. Okay, so we now have a key card, and it is late, but I do really want to see what's inside of here. Okay, back at the lab for the second time tonight. Now, I really want to use the key card and see what's in here. Okay. I gotta get some pictures. <laughs> Ooh, it's okay. There's like spores though. And they're making her dizzy. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna go down these stairs. This like room. There's more spores this way. And I guess we use it in here too. Oh, I didn't check to see where that other side goes to. Oh, it goes to here. Hmm. This goes somewhere else. Okay, wait, no, I want to see what's on this level first. So let's, uh, 15 spore clusters. Question military personnel at the local bar. To get an infection scanner, it can be used to find spore clusters. Okay. I think that's what we're supposed to do on this level. But I can use my key card. <laughs> so I do kind of want to see what's over there. Oh, I guess we can't because, well, yeah, there are a bunch of spores here. She just walked like right back. Oh! No way. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad, actually. I feel so bad. <laughs> I didn't mean for her to pass out. I just wanted to see what was in there. And like, how long has she passed out for? Oh, okay. <gasps> These spores are too toxic to pass- Oh! <laughs> These spores are too toxic to pass without protection. Question about spores around town to see if there is some way to protect yourself. No way. Hold on, wait. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Is she gonna do that weird walk? Oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> That's also really funny to me. <laughs> okay. Oh, all her needs are met though. That's nice. How long is she possessed for? 18 minutes. Okay, it's not bad. Okay, I think we can just go home. <laughs> Back to Jay Huntington the third. Leaving the secret lab, you can't help but notice the sky has shifted to an eerie color. No way. No way. 
Not my game crashed. Okay. <laughs> We're finally back to essentially where we left off um, at the Bloom Begins. So, leaving the secret lab, you can't help but notice the sky has shifted to an eerie color. Something has changed in Strangerville and not for the better. Opening the lab door must have released some kind of toxin into the air. You will need to find a way to protect yourself from the toxic spores in the secret lab. Try talking to people around town to see if they know of anything that might help. Okay, so I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I cheated just a little bit, <laughs> just so that we didn't have to like work through that whole day again. I just promoted her real quick, um, and I worked my way through to the, like the next part after you open the door. Basically, <laughs> I did everything exactly the same and. This is essentially where we would be, although we are missing a Jay Huntington the third staying in our house. But aside from that, everything is basically the same. Uh, only thing that's changed is that our bizarre plant grew. <laughs> so, yeah, we have a bizarre plant now. But uh, basically, I, I just wanted to come back to let you know that like everything's cool. We're still possessing everything. Um, but I just wanted to like end the episode off. <laughs> I figured there's no better way to end the episode than her being possessed. <laughs> so that was the first episode of the Occult Legacy Challenge. I had a lot of fun, <laughs> minus the crash. The crash kind of ruined the vibe, honestly. Like we were having a good time and then it just like hated me. <laughs> but like we're back, we're cool, we're good. Everything's fine. But let me know what you think about the first episode. Let me know what you think about the founder, Alani. I think I like her a lot, actually. I especially love her glasses. So the next Friday won't be an episode of the Occult Legacy Challenge. I have like a spooky season type themed cast and vibe that's gonna come out. We're basically just gonna be doing the like two spooky season cast challenges from Nika Tyler and so look out for that <laughs> it'll be over the span of like four episodes basically but like I want to make sure I fit it all into October so I have to take one Friday away from the series but I will be back because I did enjoy it a lot actually um but yeah Thank you.